So I'm on Yeshiva World News the other night, and I see a thread in the coffee room entitled, Is it better to daven with a hat, be a chidus, or is it better to daven without a hat, with a minion? And I actually laughed out loud. I know it's very rare for people to actually laugh out loud anymore because most people just write that, but I actually did. To myself, silently, it was like silently out loud, kind of like a dog whistle. Kind of like really like laughing heavily, but it wasn't so belly up. And um, I decided that I loved Yeshiva World News. It's, it's a love-hate relationship. I hate the fact that they moderate all my comments and that everything they post is like censored. Get this. I wrote a comment the other night on jeans. Jeans is like, jeans for from people is like, is like the evil. You wear jeans, you're naked. That's what I was told in high school. I don't understand it because jeans were created by a Jew. Levi Strauss, man, come on. We've got to support our heritage. It's like a Jewish clothing. Then you have all these people in this Yeshiva World News saying that we can't wear clothing that is goyish. And I'm thinking, I'm like, wow. I wish that was the case because everyone would be running around naked or in burlap sacks. And either way, it would be interesting. Burlap sacks would be interesting because there's no legs. So I don't know. It would, it would be like one of those, like, those races when you're in like a bag, a bag race. And uh, if we were naked, it'd be cool too because we'd have a lot of naked people. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, it, naked people with gartels on. I wonder if, if, if we would have to wear gartels if we were naked. Do they wear gartels at naked, at Hasidish nudist colonies? I bet you didn't even know they existed, huh? They do. They do. They're all men, of course, but I wonder if, if they wear if, like single-sex nudist colonies. You know, like nude Dafyomi and nude Rebbe's Tishes, or the Rebbe's Tush, as they say. Um, but seriously, Shiva World News is awesome. They have, like, things that you think are not possible to happen within the from community questions that come up. You know, like, is it better for um, Bakram to be on the internet or smoking? And you're thinking, you're like, who thinks of these questions? But really, the, the logic behind it is, the internet is so evil, and smoking is physically bad for you. So which is worse? Obviously, smoking, because I would rather, I would rather be in bad physical health than in bad spiritual health. But if you think about it, if you think about it, it's better to be in good it's in good physical health, because then you can build your way to spiritual health. If you're dead, you're not going to be able to learn. You're not going to be able to sit in Kylo, right? You're not going to be able to do that. So the logic behind it, but I, I just, I love it out of the mailbag. The shit of crisis. The shit of crisis is one thing. Fine, everyone likes the shit of crisis. Anything that bothers anyone in Yeshiva World News, they call it crisis. It's not like AIDS. It's not like people are like dying in Africa. It's like the snow crisis. We got two inches of snow in New York, and people are going out of their freaking minds because they don't want to like, you know, de-ice their car because their icers are red and that's on sneeze or something. That's what people in Yeshiva World News are. There's, there are a bunch of nut jobs who sit in offices all day in Lakewood and Muncie, predominantly, and they write just things that make from people look really bad, like I'm doing now. Um, I'm making you know, from people look really bad by telling you that there's a bunch of nut jobs on a, on a forum talking about how crazy we are. If you want crazy, just go to Calm Collins. Calm Collins is, um, is a from forum for sex, and it's all people like debating whether or not you can get pregnant from kissing. It's hilarious, and it's awesome, and I recommend it highly. Um, from satire.net, for all you don't know.